On today's episode, let's talk about social media, how it can help you, and the things that you should be doing on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, those type of platforms to promote your business and your brand in your local area. This isn't just any podcast. This is your secret weapon for dominating the market. This is the Restoration Marketing Secrets Podcast, and this is your host, Sean McMean. Welcome to Restoration Marketing Secrets. I am your host, Sean McMean, and today's episode is episode number 13. Let's get into it. Today, we're going to be talking about social media. What types of social media should you be doing for your damage restoration business or home service business online? Where should you be spending your time and your resources on social media? And will social media get you emergency mitigation jobs, roofing jobs, those types of jobs that are the high ticket uh, mitigation jobs? Or is social media just a platform to promote your brand? So let's get into it. First of all, we use social media for our clients to help them promote their brand. That is the main purpose for damage restoration, water mitigation. Social media, you're not going to get emergency re- restoration jobs from social media at its surface level. So think about it. You're a homeowner. You come home. You have an issue in your home. You're not going to go to social media typically to search for a damage restoration company or a roofing company or to clean up a flood or something like that. You're going to pick up your phone and you're going to search Google. So the social media gets you emergency 24 seven water mitigation jobs, not on its surface level, but what it will do is help promote your brand in your area so that people recognize your name and know who to call when they do have an issue or they search for your name on Google. Um, when they do need your help or they recommend your company to someone, to a neighbor that needs somebody to come in and help them. So that's our primary use for social media is to help build your brand, promote your services, promote your reviews, and promote your company atmosphere and who you are as a company. That is the main purpose of social media. It also gives you some social signals back that Google's looking for, just like any natural company or Fortune 500 company online, Google is looking for those social signals. And when you're posting on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter, those though um, those pages are visited by Google, and they will, re, you know, redirect those pages. They will follow the links on those social media posts to your to your website or your social or your Google Maps um, listing. So. Let's get into the sorts of things that you're going to use social media for. So let's let's put it this way: if you're a business that is established, you're you're doing, you're you've been doing jobs, and you have uh, recognized that you want to become the best known company in your area, you need to build a brand for your company. You can't just be relying on Google ads or, um, you know, paper lead services or um, SEO when people are searching for the actual service in your area. You also want to build that brand. And I always like to say you want to have multiple fishing poles in the water. You can, you should be running those social media. You should be running those uh, Google ads. You should be running Google guaranteed. You should be doing SEO. But you should also be building your brand so that people recognize your company. And social media is a great way of doing that. So what I, what I recommend highly is doing social media to promote your services that you're doing within your company, to promote your company and your employees, to promote your reviews that people have given you, and to promote the jobs that you've done in the in the past using before and after images and turning those into videos or posts and and uh, case studies on your website all of these things will build your brand gain a following online but to be honest the organic reach so the natural reach if you just post on facebook is not very very good nowadays go uh, facebook and instagram and all these platforms it's sort of a play to 
pay to play model, right? And there's a very minimal amount of organic reach. So it used to be if somebody follows your page, they're going to always see your post. And that's not the case anymore because people are advertising and getting in front of the organic reach. And so sure, you want to have followers on your page, but um, just because you have followers on your page doesn't mean people are going to see your posts. And so what you want to be doing is promoting these resources on your company page, but you also want to be sharing these resources on your personal profiles as well, because people are more likely to see your personal posts or shares from your company page, um, like a, a post that you share to your personal pro profile or your team shares for the from the company page. So let's think about it this way. You post a job that you've done recently. Uh, you went in there and helped somebody with a flood or whatever it may be. You turned that into a case study. You posted that on, on social media, all the platforms. You want to then go to Facebook and share or Instagram and share that on your personal profile. And that way you get more eyeballs on it. Um, you also want to have your team share it on a personal profile. I've previously talked about Facebook, Instagram, but you can be doing this for LinkedIn. You can be doing this for um, for YouTube, uh, doing videos, and that's a social media platform too. Uh, TikTok is one of these things that, again, it's it's another platform out there, but it's an extra effort to create those um, create those. The, those videos and, and and that content if you have the resources to do that and the time to do that and the team to do that or a company to help you with that then great but is it going to turn your business around overnight 100 percent not it's a branding play only one of the things that we like to do is something i call a five dollar a day strategy and what that is is you take a personal um photo of either the business owner or the business owner and it's and his or her family or the team itself so let's say you have your whole team group photo you take that photo and you create uh, an ad a five dollar a day ad that posts out to facebook and instagram and what you're doing is promoting this in your area you don't have any audience assigned to it if you know anything about running facebook ads you can assign audiences ultimately what you're doing is you're taking this image or video and you are just posting it you're going to use this ad in your specific area or your radius your service area and you're just doing five dollars a day and this is just really um, a strategy that you can you can create this it's, it's called a traffic campaign okay and you put this personal image on their video on there of your team or your family and you have a personal message on there you know hi this is sean from a1 damage restoration and i help homeowners that have been impacted by flood broken pipes sewage blah 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 you just you you say a personal message how long you've been in business we have a team that's certified we'd love to help you out share this uh, post with anybody that you feel like could need our services and you just keep it real personal um and so you start with five dollars a day on the traffic piece then there's another campaign um that you take those same assets and you turn it into an engagement piece um and and that's a different strategy you put five dollars on that and then you take that um the uh th the third piece of that you take that and you turn the, all of those same assets into an engagement piece and so all three of these compound on the original set of assets for that ad uh the traffic the engagement and the um, awareness piece there are three different strategies within running ads and you just run five dollars on each of those campaigns and it compounds itself together and what you then do is you you promote it in your area and it helps establish the brand for your company. An, a, another great idea here on social media, again, it's $15 a day. It is an investment over time, but it helps build your brand. Um, and you want to equate your team to your business and your trucks, right? So you can create the same type of strategy with what's called a carousel image. Um, and so what a carousel image does on Facebook is allows you to have a stacked stacking of different images or to images or video together and so that first image could be your team in your collared shirts and your truck in the background the next could be an image of review 
that, that you receive from a client. Next could be another review, and then next could be um, a picture of the owner or some sort of service that you provide or some sort of job that you've, do that you've done related to water, mold, fire, those types of things. And so what you're doing is you're showing all facets in this carousel type image, all facets, facets of your company, your team, your branded logo, you're showing your reviews, and you're backing it up with the work that you've done. And this is a highly effective strategy. And again, you can do this for traffic, engagement, and um, awareness campaign compounded together at $5 each campaign, so $15 a day. It will blanket your area of people that are on Facebook in your specific area. So just to recap what we talked about today, if you are established business and you want to become the best known company in your area, using social media will help you become a brand re recognized to homeowners and businesses that need your services in your area. Will it immediately impact you getting jobs? And is it a great uh, lead source for emergency work? No, it is not. It is a brand play primarily. In most areas, it is a brand play for the damage restoration side. Roofing is a different story. Home remodeling, kitchens, those, those types of services, a different story, but I'm talking mainly mitigation, mold, fire. This is a brand play and it absolutely works over time. And like I said, you wanna promote your services, your reviews, your team, all of those aspects. And you can jumpstart that by running a $15 a day strategy where you have these three campaigns that are stacked up together and it's very effective. So hopefully this was helpful to you and hopefully you got some insights on how social media can help grow your brand in your area. Take advantage of it. If you're in position to invest that to help grow your brand and you have some work coming in, this is just another fishing pole that you can put in the water to help you grow your business for sustainability and so that you're not searching from job to job every single day. So this is Sean McMean with Restoration Marketing Secrets. Until next time, I will talk to you later. You've been listening to the Restoration Marketing Secrets Podcast. Sean's not here to just talk the talk. He's walked the walk with a track record of helping over 70 damage restoration companies and engaging in over 500 conversations with industry owners. He's seen it all from digital marketing triumphs to the most ingenious growth hacks. He's got the keys to the kingdom and he's sharing them with you. We hope you've enjoyed the show. If you did, make sure to like, rate, and review. We'll be back soon. But in the meantime, for more, hit the website at restorationmarketing.com. See you next time on the Restoration Marketing Secrets Podcast.